What's up, guys? It's Emily. Um, I'm just going to get straight to the point. I'm not even going to do an intro or anything. But the last four years have been a nightmare for me. It's been a nightmare because I, I know I may seem on the internet like I have it all together. But I don't. I don't have it all together. And um, and why I say four years is because, as you guys know, I've been diagnosed with PCOS and hypothyroidism, and I had to get a brain MRI through those years within the four years also I had to get a brain brain MRI because they were looking for a benign tumor thankfully there was nothing there um with my health there's been issue after issue after issue to nothing that I've been crying about nothing I've got answers for and I feel like I just need to film this because it's just been so stressful it's been so stressful people just don't understand nobody understands until you go through it the last four years I've been suffering with stomach pains, suffering with extreme chronic pain when I'm on my period. <laughs> I've been in and out of x-ray machines, in and out of CT scans, in and out of MRI machines. <laughs> and every time I tell my doctor, my OBGYNs, my endocrinologist, I get sent somewhere else. And it's just not, it's just not easy because it's like, well, a lot of my doctors thought it was like GI issues, which I have GERD and I have really bad like issues with using the bathroom and stuff, but we got that handled now. And this pain hasn't went away. It just gets worse when I'm on my period. And if you're a woman and you understand that, like, especially if you have the conditions I do with PCOS and hypothyroidism, we're just a person that has a menstrual cycle. It's just hard because I shouldn't be this in pain. I've never been in this much pain when I had my periods. And I just went for another CT scan a couple days ago and I seem to not get this I, I seem to get the same answers that I've been telling them I've been in and out of the hospital through 2019 to this year for pit pelvic pain for pains in my stomach it's not even pains in my stomach it's pelvic pain but it feels like it's all over my stomach like my lower stomach part of my stomach and you know, I told my OBGYN that I, I really believe it's endometriosis. Now, if you're a person that has endometriosis, can you somehow give me clarity that it could be this? Because I feel every symptom for endometriosis. And I, I understand where my doctors are coming from. Like my OBGYN, she wanted to make sure it's nothing with the GI tract or anything like that. And I understand that. But how many times do I have to go to another doctor to still not get answers when I know clearly what it could be? When, you're, when your body's signaling something, that there's something wrong, trust your gut. Because through the years with PCOS, hypothyroidism, I've been right about 99% of the things. With my PCOS, it's been a struggle. 
a lot of the issues that I had, I didn't know that was going on. Now, endometriosis is something that you can't figure out without surgery. And it's not like I've been postponing it or anything like that. You know, I tell my doctors, like, I have pelvic pain, left lower corgin pain, and they automatically assume it's something with, like, gastritis issues. Because the left side is usually the one side that causes a lot of those issues. But it's uh, where I'm describing, it's, it's in my pelvic. And it gets worse when I'm on my period. So if somebody is out there that has endometriosis, I need some clarity because... Finally, my gastro is finally listening to me and telling me like, okay, we got your other issues under control. Now, I think you should go back to your OBGYN and talk about getting endometriosis surgery because it, it's, a, it's a possibility that you could have that. And this, this is a prolonged pain. It's not like something I just slept overnight and I've just been feeling it. This has been going on for four years. And it's taken a toll on my physical health. It's taken a toll, like, where my physical ability, like, I, I have, like, especially when I'm on my period, it hurts to sit. It hurts to stand. It hurts to eat. Like, I don't have an appetite. It hurts to even use the bathroom. Like, it's not normal. <sighs> I'm trying to bring awareness to a lot of my health issues. PCOS is not talked about enough. Endometriosis is not talked about enough. People that have invisible illnesses that suffer silently. And it's hard, guys. It's hard, and I hate going on it, like on my YouTube to document these things. But these things are something that people don't talk about, and I want to bring awareness, especially to my channel, especially with things that I'm going through. Whether it's my PCOS, whether it's just something that's just like happening in my health. Like I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for, oh, like, I feel bad for her. No, I'm looking for awareness. I want people to be aware of the reality of what this is like. You know, having to deal with this pain for the last four years have been hard. But hopefully, you know, when I go to my OPGYN, I'll find some answers and I'll find some clarity if I if they approve the surgery. Um... I would have to get a laparoscopy surgery. I'm not scared, honestly. I just want an answer. I'm tired of just sitting here with no answers. And I just feel like just a a bottle of problems. Like it's it's just it's just hard, especially when people don't understand what it's really like. And that's why I YouTube because I want people to see the reality the inside from the inside out of what having these conditions feels like and having like you just feel alone you feel like you have nobody to talk to you feel like you just have nobody especially when there's people like I have my family and I'm so grateful for that but it's hard for them to understand because they don't have what I have and I'm, I'm glad they give me support and I'm glad they give me all the love and you know all that stuff but it's just hard when you're sitting here with no answers all the time and you just feel like bad about yourself I, I don't know how to explain it like that I have my good days and I have my bad days and right now I'm going through the last two days have been the worst days for me and I just felt like I needed to get on the camera and just document this because it's just been so hard to even just get up out of bed like I haven't even want to get it up out of bed to eat like so I just want to bring some awareness to the reality of possibly I'm going to probably have to get surgery and the the reality of having 
an illness, PCOS, PCOS, hypothyroidism, and all my other issues, be kind. Be kind to people that have weight issues. Be kind to people that are suffering in silence. Like, you do not know what people are going through. And that includes any invisible illness that you can't see from the outside. It doesn't matter if the person is happy. They're just trooping it out to make, to not even think about it. You know, there's things that people are dealing with silently that they don't talk about. And it could be, it doesn't even have to be a physical illness. It could be mental health. It could be emotional health. It could be physical health, spiritual health, whatever it is. Just be kind because you don't know what somebody's going through. And don't be hateful. Don't be mean to people because they have they, they have depression or they have a physical condition that, you know, takes a toll on them or you get upset at one of your friends because they don't want to go out with you. It's not because they don't want to go out with you. I'm sure they're dealing with something. So just be kind. And I hope this video somehow brings awareness. And I'm sorry for just coming on this camera and just ranting. And I just feel like I just needed to bring some awareness because it's hard. It's really hard. And people won't get it until they physically see something like this. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and 